And there is the mercy of Krishna always on all. The mercy, one is mercy of Krishna and one is our effort in the world. By only the world we cannot uh, bind him. Bind we will be Sharanagat, surrender, totally surrender, not like now we are surrounding. Oh, we will tell Gurudev, today I have surrendered to you. But law can keep, he is with me, and we surrender by words. This we will do. You will have to totally surrender. How to surrender? You can go to Arjun, you can go to Brajvasis, totally surrender. If you want to more qualified in surrendering, then go to gopis. They will tell the process how to be surrendered. Then Krishna was thinking that I, if Mother Jasoda is taking me, then how can I play with boys? Siddham Subal are waiting for me. Oh, all the cows are waiting. For what? They are pain in their orders. 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 But they cannot give me milk to their children. Cows. If Krishna will come, and then only they can give milk. So, if Jasodamaya binds me, then I cannot go. So, it is it will be better Jasodamaya should not bind me. And at once Yoga Maya came and said this miracle that the rest was there and ropes were longer and longer, and longer but not even one time. <coughs> the Sodamaya was trying to bind him. But when he felt that, oh, from beginning of morning and now it is twelve, I can't bind him. Then he took shelter of his Thakurji. Oh Narayan, oh Thakurji, if I am not binding my son, then all Brajarshi will laugh at me. So his face was changing. And tears were always running in his eyes. In his eyes. Always. Oh, as if they will come out. And seeing this, Krishna saw, that now he knows that I cannot bind. He has full belief. But he was sweating and he promised that I will bind till one day, two, three, three days, whole life, but I will not give up you. I must bind you. And but he was taking shelter of Naya and weeping, tears were coming. So Krishna saw at once became merciful. And when he became merciful, at once Yogmaya ran away from there. And very easily, by the rope of bending hair, he was tied. So if we are following gopis or Nandvava Jasoda Siddham Subal of prison, we can tie it. But this love and affection should be of Asya Tattva. Asatattva, you know? Abode of love. Uh, but you are all abode of love and love. So means we fall. After that, you know, the past times of that fruit seller, that lady. He had heard something from the persons who are going to Mathura and coming to Mathura. Vrindavan. from Vrindavan, from Gokul. They heard that a very beautiful child, eh? the son of Nanda and Yasoda. Very, very beautiful, very charming. And she wanted to take the son. She used to take some fruits in his basket and to go around 
the Nanda Bhavan. And telling, oh, fruit low, low fruit, fruit low, fruit low, fall low, fall low, fall low, like this. Like Indians, oh, there are so many fruit sellers in Mathura here and there, Vindavan. Oh. So it's a use to do. But sometimes Krishna used to sleep, sometimes here and there. Oh, she could not give, could not have darshan of Krishna. At that time he was, it may be up to years. Sometimes he was in the lap of Yasoda and taking breast. So he had never chance to see Krishna. But he told that, today I will go and I will not return until I will have darshan. So make a fixed, this object of life. We used to try to make an object like this. And she made an object. And do or die like having this promise. She went there. And basket was there, full of flowers. And she was telling, follow, follow. And in the meantime, he for, she forgets. And then what? Go Vindalo. Go Vindalo. Dhamu Dharma, Madhul, Govinda Dhamu Dharma, 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 Nam Sankirtan. And he adopted that process. You know, gopis, when Krishna disappeared, and they have been like this. So Krishna can come to you. So she followed this process and began to chant like this. They, they are practiced not to touch with hand their baskets and easily go dancing here, but it will be on their head. So, Till twelve, from morning, she was doing. At least she was tired and sat on the a side of Nanda Bhavan. No, uh, and door, door, door. And she was thinking, how I should see Krishna. So Krishna, at last, he took some corn from wheat or anything, friends. He was quite naked. Only some gold chains and some twinklings. Yeah. Sometimes Krishna, from very sweet, he was so much short. Sure. So he took anyhow and he was coming. And in the meantime, from here, only two, three grains were there. And he came to with a very uh, greedy eyes, seeing fast fruits. Yellow is yellow, well, red is reddish, banana, mango, mango angur, uh, kadamba, oh, so many. Chico, chico, chico. No, chico. <laughs> <laughs> there are everything in there. But uh, this is not uh, so yellow or sweet. Mm. <laughs> and yes. So that's uh, golden like colors, golden colors, I know. Amaru, it may be. And Krishna with the greedy eyes went and, oh, give me fruits, give me fruits. She looked towards Krishna and began charmed, totally charmed. Then she told that, I may give you, if you tell me mother, and see it in my lap. And a very big problem for Krishna. <laughs> if anyone see that I'm sitting on her lap, and addressing her mother, and that all we love, what to do? And quickly then he took, he looked here and that. Is there any uh, witness or not? He saw that there is no witness here. And then very quickly, in a moment, she sat on the lap of 
that fruit seller and told, Oh mother, give me fruits. And then quickly, <laughs> ah, give me fruits, give me fruits. And then very happily she began to give. What you want? Oh this, that. So she gave. And then Krishna at first came with in this position and now who are in this position. <laughs> and she, she gave two, three, four, five, and it was full love. And then Krishna, oh, looking and dancing and went to his mother. And he get all the fruits in the well of his mother. Oh, from where you brought? And quickly he began to distribute. And hundreds of gopis were coming there and taking, but not finishing. No end of fruits. All became what? Unlimited. Very sweet. Very sweet. Very sweet. And what became of that fruit seller? He was thinking. He was sitting there because his mind, his heart was taken by Krishna, stolen away, without heart. And she was so much upset. After some time, anyone came and oh, what, you are why you are here? What you are doing? Anyhow, he remembered something and took his basket, and he started to go his home at Mathura in the maid way, when Jamna was there flowing. Oh, he saw that, felt that, that, oh, this is why it is so heavy, heavy. Then he took it up and down, and he saw that it was full of jewels, diamonds and so on. Then he became wonder. Again she took it on his head and fell all this, no one again. <laughs> and what became? Anyone does not know. She became totally mad in the eyes of the world. Do you know what became? Oh, she became more than Devahuti. Hmm? Whether his bell was there, he was, she was naked or what she was. Always in France. She became more than that. And Krishna, at once it may be that Krishna has taken his outer shell, this, and quickly given more things than Putana, hmm? and sent at once to Guru Vrindavan to serve. Krishna is so kind. Can you be like this? Those he has shown no relation with Krishna. His bhakti is what? Shant, like Shant. No special relation with Krishna. No special relation. But thinking like some like mother, he told his heart like a mother. But Krishna gave him more superior than Putana. Also more than Kubja and others. So Krishna is so merciful. Try to realize all these things. Quickly. If you your bhakti is so high. Oh, in a one birth you can have like this. And you will have to come to this position. Yes. Oh, yes. That Putana went to Golo, but she went to Mahosuri. Than that. And then Krishna came to Vrindavan. And after Vrindavan he did so many things. First he killed then Kasu with Balde Prabhu, Balde Prabhu killed. What is this? The essence of this story? Who will tell? Or you can tell? Then Kasu? Quickly. In a force line. Venikasa <laughs> was the donkey, demon friend of Kamsa. And actually, they thought that this forest belonged to Kamsa. And they were guarding it so that no good bodies could come there. And a donkey works very hard for another master, and he never enjoys anything himself. And he tries to enjoy 
sex life with his wife, who always kicks him in the face with her hind legs. So that's the mentality of a donkey. So these Danikasura demons were like that. But Krishna's friends wanted to enjoy the fruits, so Krishna took them there, and Krishna and Balaram killed all the demons. Balaram is the Adi Guru, and he kills all the demons of ignorance. So he killed Danikasura by swinging him around by his hind legs and threw him up on the tall tree, and then Krishna and Balaram killed the rest of the demons, and those who weren't killed ran away in fear, and then the boys were able to enjoy the fruits. Oh. Bankers have so many things. First of all, they are ignorant. Why to ignorant? Secondly, oh, they are so much lusty. Always bitten by the hind legs of sea donkeys, but never giving up. All this running, all this running. And so much ignorant. Who can save you from this? Vani Gurudev, Paladev Prabhu. You should always know that all Gurus who are qualified and bona fide, they are manifestation of Baladev Prabhu. All of Prakash of Nityananda Prabhu or Baladev Prabhu. Oh, they, they don't realize this, they are not qualified Guru. They cannot save from this donkeys. So, Nityananda Prabhu and Baladev Prabhu both, same thing. Nityananda Prabhu is more merciful. As Mahaprabhu is more merciful than Krishna, Nityananda Prabhu is more merciful than them. Those they are same, no difference at all. But some difference of their mercies. So if we are taking shelter, a guru in the line of Nityananda Prabhu, Baladev Prabhu, they can save from this. Very, very, very uh, hard to become out of lust. Krishna has created in all species, what? Some ladies and some male, male and female. It is very rare, very hard to come out of this. Especially Hridarog, it is called you can give up your children's and wealth and reputation, everything. Very hard to give up the, the idea of the mood of self-praise. And more hard, more hard, this thing. Or oh, in heart it is. So only Baldev Prabhu can do this. So Baldev Prabhu quickly kill that demon. But we are saying that so many Brahmachari worshipping for 12 years, 20 years, engaged by Swamiji, and when he departed from this world, all they can arrange their marriage here, they are become blessed. Even the sannyasi serving and worshipping deities, reading Bhagavatam, preaching so much, but this lust came and controlled and did it driven from oh, this devotion line. So you should try to be. This is not the first time in this that you have taken the shape of human and you are married. This is not first. I think this is oh, lakhs and lakhs time more than that you are with these things. When you will realize this fact, at once you will be like Sukhdeva Goswami, Mahaprabhu, Raghunath Das Goswami. You will have to come in this process if you want to go there. Today or after some days, after you will have to be like that. Even you are with, in marriage life, you will have to be like Pandavas, like Srinivasa Acharya, like others, like Gops and Gopis. You will have to be. All they are attached with Krishna, not with anything. So these are essence of instructions. We should try to follow. Then the pastime of Brahma. He saw that uh, he saw that uh, Avasur has been liberated 
and he meets in the clothes of Krishna. But actually, he was liberated, and it seems that he mixed in Krishna, but not he cannot mix. Like Jai Vijay, in the shape of Sushupal Dandapatra, they were liberated, and they mixed in the Krishna body. But actually, they became Jai and Vijay, and then with Narayan, when his pastimes was finished, completed. Then they went with Narayan. So it seems that they were liberated, mixing in Krishna. But Brahma was, anyhow, looking after this, and he became very happy. Oh, Krishna is so merciful, and he has appeared like a boy, and he is doing all these sweet pastimes. I want to see some pastimes, more pastimes. So. I should do anything that I can see. If he has prayed, then it was process. But he never prayed. He did something. What? He, he was discovering anyway that I should do something that Krishna should play. He thought that I should stole away all the cowherd boys and all the cops. At that time he was grazing cowherd um, cops money. So he thought. But from where this thought came? The influence of Yoga Mayapur. Oh. Krishna wished at that time. Oh, I want that lakhs and lakhs gopis wants that I should be their son. And they should give me, keep me in their laps and give me their best. So they want all. I will have to fulfill because I have made a promise like this. Je jathang mam prapadyante tam tathagubhayam. So I must be their son. Also, lakhs and lakh cows. The cows of Nanda Baba, 8 lakh, 9 lakh. And the cows of Vishwan Maharaj, 12 lakh. And others. That's eh? uncounted number. Eh? They wanted that Krishna should be our cow. Oh, Krishna is desirable. He also wanted that I should be cough of all the cows. And in Vrindavan, in Goku, in everywhere, Nandana, everywhere, all the young girls, oh, they wanted that Krishna should be our husband, like our beloved. All wanted. So Krishna has to fulfill this. So Krishna thought that, oh, it is a good time, at once he sent the Yogamaya, nothing to send, all the Yogamaya in him, him, and at once marriage this. And Brahma stole away the cowherd boys and horse, and he kept in a and cave. And for a moment he went to is about. And quickly he, went, he returned, and for this world it was like one year. And what happened? When he returned before this, Baldev Prabhu was there. Oh, very strange thing. At first I used to see that all the gopis were having so much love and affection for Krishna more than their children, their sons. But now I am saying that they equal love for Krishna and their sons. And also for cows I am saying, oh, they have so much affection for their older son than Why? What is the thing? And then he saw, oh, very wonderful Krishna. He began to laugh, smile, and told Krishna, oh, Krishna, what is this? I am saying that you are cough souls. So your stomach was not fulfilled by taking the, only the milk of Srimati Jasuda, your mother. So you became lax and lax cowherd joys. Even not fulfilled, then you became all coughs here. And what is this? All the cowherd boys like 
you yourself not older one original why oh to marry with all bodies you have married men all by all bodies at that time the priest of garga child told that this is very good here and auspicious you should give marriage to your all daughters even those who are in home of you, their mothers even yes. to make friendship that if a son will be in from your woman and my daughter or my son your daughter that you will marry we should have a promise like this so all gopis were that only not radhika there was some trick of yoga maya at that year she was not married Oh, for Radhika, for uh, Vishwan Maharaj, it was a very bad year. So this he should not do. So trickly. Yeah. So all the gopis who were married that year were married to Krishna, and also Sri Mati Jasoda was married to Abhimanyu. Abhimanyu is the Radha Rani. Oh, he was not married, but his. a uh, manifestation was married to abhimanyu uh, abhimanyu who is he he is also manifested as krishna krishna so shadow was married to shadow radha was no because radha is only power of krishna she cannot be divided with krishna one with krishna for past times she becomes like this otherwise only one both are in the shape of mahaprabhu and when they are in two they become radha and krishna but even one soul two bodies by two to bhosan you can realize these things so we should know all these things and so what was the telling brahma mohan and then this is the essence of the brahma mohan leela this is essence so in one mummy jo ha ek kaaje se kare bahu ka in one to kisma ko hi jaye ki then <coughs> you know that all the gopis were like sita ji golden sita and all the great mantra of dandakaranya all the gulls of jodhapuri and janakpuri and so many jyothiki ajyothiki they came in vrindavan and for them that uh, over Katyani Brat was there. They were observing Katyani Brat for one month. But who came in the last? Why Katyani could not come? If they were worshiping Katyani, Katyani should have come. But he has never come. Who came? Krishna Himself came, and he gave benediction to them. those will be like gopis a krishna wants you should give up all these things for happiness of krishna we can give up all these things this body is also a, like a garment you know that devhuti and others subhadev goswami had no need to cover these things <laughs> nothing we are ignorant that is why we are doing so like You will have to be so much about for Krishna, nothing to be, everything is sure. Then we can come in there. Now, very quickly, we will come in Rasleela, and then I will come to my uh, object of uh, telling Hari Katha here, beginning from Kamsabad. How Krishna came from Vrindavan? Why he came? All wants to be 
in a in a place where love had affected me so so much. We know all that in Vrindavan, love to Krishna and affection is so superior. Not Mathura. Mathura is also there something, but not like. <coughs> but why Krishna left? And if he left, this would have come time to time to meet with them. But he never came. Why? He wanted to console gopis. Why he did not send himself directly and consult? He sent his one messenger. Huh? Why he sent? Oh, one thing is that Krishna is so having so much affluence and he is so powerful. Why she could not? He could not act to fight all the gopis and Nanda Baba Jesoda to Mathura or to Dwarka. If he can take. All jadas from Mathura to in one night at once. Why he cannot bring all the gopis, Nanda Baba, Yasoda, and cows and everything there, and he can live with them? Why? There is a scarcity of place in Dwarka because it is surrounded by ocean, so there is no place. Is it the fact? Oh, there is so much place. But why gopis and Nand Baba could not reach there? These are the questions we will try to solve tomorrow in my class. And then we will go Gaur Pramad. He came in the shape of the bamboo, to bamboo bees. <laughs> to know how gopis are, their love and affection. And how is this modern mode so high? So he came in the shape of bamboo. <laughs> but even he cannot realize. Then he came to Srimati Radhika and prayed, Can you give me your this more to me, but how Radhika can be? So Krishna is so tricky. Anyhow, he is stole away. And he came in the shape of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So try to know all these things. This is the essence of Srimad Bhagavatam. Even Srimad Bhagavatam, this is the essence. So the Goswami has not explain all these things. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came himself and he inspired all these things in the heart of Rupa Goswami. So we are all in Gephetan too. Follow Rupa Goswami ki Desire of three desires. Gau Pramanande Shri Guru Dev Ki Shri